Yeah, thank you very much. Um, what I can have a talk here, a presentation of our work. Um, um, as you heard, my name is Luise Stromer and I'm a research assistant at the HTW Berlin. And I would like to tell you today something about um, how we use JSX Graph um, at the HTW in Berlin to build small, really, really small simulations. And perhaps to encourage you to advance a little bit your JSX Graph skills um, or to, to do something like looking out of the box a little bit. Um, I'm also coming from the mathematics of in, for engineers. So um, the presentation will not work. Okay, let's take this one. Um, we already use digital exercises and JSX graph um, in our engineering courses. And uh, what we use there is what um, is the normal way, um, you know, you have something like, um, like this, you have to draw a function or to draw a function, you have here the sign function and um, you have some points and you can um, drag them and uh, well, create a new function, a new graph, and then you can um, press the, the check button and then you will get more or less detailed feedback. So here you see I did something wrong and it, I did something right. And well, we all knew uh, these, um, uh, this yeah, use of J6 graph and we really like it. And well, but one year later, a um, little problem because then our students go to electrical engineering, for example, and then they get a task like this, perform a full network analysis. And normally they then have a lot of problems. I mean, if you have a close look, um, apart from some special aspects, you just have to solve a linear system of equations. But unfortunately, um, the students often fail to make the, the transfer between mathematics and this task at this point. So it's one year later and well, there's a gap and we can't get over. And um, this is one thing on the other side, um, we see in the lecture of mathematics that um, well, the enthusiasm and the motivation um, to, um, to put a lot of power in the mathematical course is, well, not that high. And so we considered it would be nice to integrate applications from the subject science, like here, um, um, into the mathematical lectures as early as possible. Yeah, and what we try to do in our uh, project, we have at the HTV a project um, called Curriculum Innovation Hub. It's a bigger one. And we are a part of it. We are a sub project, uh, Innovative Digital Mint Curricula, Innovative Digital Mint Curricula for Mathematics and Informatics, um, together with Professor Zeiser and Professor Burkhardt. And um, our project is also founded by the Stiftung Innovation in der Hochschullehre. And I don't want to take you to all our, um, our project. This would take too much time, but I will focus on how we use the JSX graph. And um, well, I would like to show you um, where we are right now at the, uh, the project just started uh, one year ago. And um, what we have, uh, as exercises and um, what is the role of J6 graph in our exercises here. We are using it a little bit, well, outside of the box, but um, well, uh, just have in mind that I'm not a programmer, I'm not a developer, but I try to figure out what can I can do with J6 graph um, uh, on other sites than, than the normal use. And what we try to do is to, to take, um, to use JSX graph to, um, well, to make the world of science a little more comprehensible to our students 
but without diving into all the details straight away. And for the beginning, I would like to take you with me for a little presentation. So this is our Moodle course. And well, let's have um, a little look together to a first assignment that we have. We still have our network analysis and um, the past occurrence are to be calculated. And this is the wrong one. I wanted to show this one. Okay. Um, what you see here, you have a picture and a presentation. And here, perhaps we have the first step where young students um, just coming from the school or have been to school 10 years ago can recognize these things from the physics um, uh, lectures in the school. We're perhaps familiar with it. And we also have the technical drawing here. And we can, well, play around a little bit and see the representation um, of what they have used in school and of the drawing. And what we wanted to have is, I mean, we can't do a network analysis now. We are at the beginning of the studies and they just have the only thing they can do is when they have the, um, the, um, the equation system, we can solve this equation system. That's all what we can do. But how to get this, we will not learn it in mathematical courses. This will be one year later. So what we try to do is to, to pick up the students at this moment in the math math mathematical lectures, but to show them, hey, what you're learning here, you can use it, you will use it in the next time, or perhaps even later, hopefully later in your um, business time. And we uh, use visual, um, visualization, uh, visual representation, I'm sorry. And so we just need a very, very small text that tells you something about, well, where is it coming from? What will we do? And now you have to solve this equation with the given values here. And please enter whatever you solve. So um, let's imagine that they just got something. And well, what can we do now? Because until now, you see, oh, okay, I can tell you, I have designed this with JSX graph, but why? Because we don't have a, a much, much use here. Um, but if I uh, push this button, this button tells me that, okay, I calculated all the values and I wrote them down, it would change. And then the same secret will um, come again, but here he, they can start to do some measures. And this is well, how, we, how we try to get them um, and to figure out, okay, what I'm doing here, I had to calculate something, a, a partial current, whatever it is, I have no idea because um, to know that um, at the beginning of the studies, Sometimes we don't know what partial uh, runs is. So here we have the same letters and we can just, yeah, play around and see whatever they can find here. They have, we ask them to enter these, um, whatever we uh, they measured here, we'll just enter other numbers here. And here you have different, uh, different possibilities. Um, if there's a student recognize, oh, if I have G106 here, but I, in, uh, I entered here zero, perhaps I have to have a new uh, uh, look um, on what I calculated. Or perhaps he doesn't know this, so he, ent he will enter the, the correct um, values here he measured. And he can have a look and get a feedback. I mean, my feedback here, they, uh, nothing is good. <laughs> um, even get some hints here and uh, perhaps even um, full uh, calculated answer. 
if he is interested in. Yeah. Um, well, this is how we use JSX graph or how we try to use JSX graph and to, to motivate a student to, uh, well, to, to, to have more um, practical um, um, of my English. Um, <laughs> more practical um, um, to see where it will go to and even um, they have the possibility through this small situation to get a first feeling fact that the results of the linear system uh, equations is, is not abstract but but that the results are you can find them in the real world. One task. We also use stack. All you see here around is a question. And um, by this combination with stack, um, well, for this, we have the possibility um, of a switch to my presentation. We still saw uh, stack in the last um, presentation. Um, and it will help us to get, um, well, some good examples and to, to um, we can use the random function um, to have one task and have more than, but have more than one exercise with it. And for this, um, I was looking out for some, some good values here some good values and not fantasy values. Uh, I did some sets and now we can randomize over this. So in our project, um, we have uh, more than this task, but um, what we are also thinking about uh, are two more steps um, because we want more variation of our whatever we um, invented here with J6 graph, because you all know that it is, it is a lot of work to do um, such simulations. And the first thing is we have to think about didactics. We heard a little bit um, about this topic in the last um, talk. Um, what we are thinking here about is okay, we have this uh, simulation. How can we? use this in different didactical um, situations. And um, um, yeah, this is one thing. So for example, for this um, um, secret, we have another another and another exercise. Um, there our students um, can measure up from the beginning. And then we are guided through um, all sub steps of the Gaussian algorithm. So this is more for self study, step by step, self study in individual time. And for the other thing, for more variation for these questions, uh, is that we have to create more circuits and also for different levels. Here in our example, you just saw two um, equations coming out from the circuit, but you can imagine we can have more than this. And um, what I was thinking about is, okay, our secrets, yes, we can do it, but I don't want to do this by hand um, because it is a lot of, uh, a lot of um, work. And now we are there, but I said, we are a little bit out of the box. Um, I solved this problem by creating a library. So my little small library for me. And it looks like this. And everything I used for this was just the class method. So um, you see here, just one class for the connectors, here for the resistors. It's a little bit longer, but not that much. I created it. I'm not a, um, a programmer and nothing, but as I did this, this is now um, uh, working. And the same time I provided a tool that allows others 
to build circuits in a very, very short time. And even circuits that can be directly integrated, uh, be integrated into stack. And um, I just created a small library of my required components. And the best thing is um, after I did this, well, um, the code for a secret is reduced to these few lines. Well, um, why to show this? I would like to encourage you to, to have a little look at the right side of the left side and to, to um, think about um, when you're using JSF graph very often, Perhaps it would be good to get a small repository for yourself with your own tools. Um, if you will, um, if you think you will use them very, very often. And well, we are thinking about using these secrets very often in different um, exercises, in uh, various exercises. And for our future task, I will also think about how we can um, put together drones and vectors or digital secrets and logic or something with robot kinematics. I think I will use, or I have some ideas how I will use JSX graph in this, um, for these tasks and um, how I can, well, build a little library so that other people who are not using your JSX graph every day can build up new examples. And so I'm at the end. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> very short um, presentation. And if there are uh, any questions, feel welcome.